Hello everyone, this is a short video to show you how to uh, link your broker account to a MyFix book account. So first, uh, these are the steps. First of all, you have to have a MyFX book account. If you don't have it yet, just go to the website. It is free. Fill in this and then just log in. Before we do the second step, make sure you go to account history. Again, if you don't see this, it is the terminal this icon when you click on it it will pop up you go to the third tab uh, account history in here make sure this is really important otherwise it's not going to load properly uh, you right click it doesn't matter where and then you go to all history so make sure all history is enabled here the second step is to open a chart window of any pair you won't be trading on uh, in the market watch. So if you don't see the market watch, it is this icon here. If you click it, you will find it back. Uh, make sure it's on the symbol tab, not on the tick chart. Now, to easily uh, add a pair, what I always do, I just double click in the window. So you get this rectangle. And I always take a pair that I won't be using. For instance, most of the time, nobody uses silver. So I just enter the X and then press enter and I get this uh, pair. There are several ways to open the chart window uh, and the easiest one is to right click on the name and then select chart window. Then you get this window. Then third step is to add the um, EA, MyFX book EA and on all the VPSs there sh uh, should be under expert advisors um, this EA, my FX book. If you don't see it, just make a ticket um, in uh, Avaya Prime in the back office. You, again, there are several ways to add it to the uh, chart. You can either drag it into the chart or you can also just double click. So here on the second tab, first, second, third, second tab, you make sure that allow live trading is enabled and allow DLL imports. This is important. Third tab here, you type in your email and here your password. This has to be your uh, email and your password that you use for my FX book. And then you just press on OK. Once it's done, you should see this statement updated successfully. Now, once it's loaded, it doesn't matter which time frame you use it for. Um, I just leave this open and I click on the little minus so it's not in, in the way of my display. So even now when I um, do this, for instance, and I click on arrange all windows. So this way it doesn't show my MyFX book uh, window. So it's uh, hidden there in the corner. It's really important to keep this chart open at any time. To keep it open, it doesn't have to be visible. Like this is visible. It doesn't have to be visible just make it small now the next steps are only for people who want to make their data also public and share it with other people now, what you have to do is you go to uh, portfolio here this is the account that has just been added and what i do is i click on add accounts then i can go to the last one and i just click on edit i fill in this the broker in this case, it is FTMO, I press enter. And uh, then I have to select the correct server. If you select the wrong server, it won't work. Then I have to uh, change my uh, password to do that. Um, first of all, it's an investor's password. So you just make sure you copy this. This is important that you have to copy the same password that's given here, right click copy. And then you go to your VPS to change your uh, investor's password or rather to add it. If it's the first time you go to your account, you right click on the name of your account and then you click on change password. Here you enter your current password and then you click, don't forget this. This is really important. Click on change investor. And then here you paste the password that has been given to you. Um, by my FX book. Also in confirm and then you press OK. Now I can't do it here because I forgot for FTMO accounts, you cannot change 
any password or add an investor's password. So for FTMO accounts, you won't be able to do this as far as I know, uh, but for any other broker account, you can do this. Okay, once that's done, you save it. Um, and here, it's really easy. If you made a mistake somewhere, for instance, in your uh, main password, in your master password, or these two are not the same, then as uh, when you press on OK, it will not accept it. Okay, when you press on OK and this window close, closes, then you know that you've done it correctly. Now, once that's done here, you click on connect and um, it takes uh, a little moment and then there should be a, a, a green pop-up saying that it was successful or something like that. If you get a timeout or something, just click on it again until it's done. Here, another thing that I do is I give it a personal name, for instance, trial like this. Even if this is connected, you won't be able to select public. So you, first of all, you have to save it. Now you can see that the name has been changed here, which makes it a lot easier to track. And you click on uh, edit again. Now, if you've done this correctly, which I cannot do on this account, these will be able to be selected right now. So you can, uh, for instance, if you say, I don't want uh, them to see my account number, you keep that on private. But if they, uh, you want uh, them to see your balance, you enable balance and so on for the rest of these choices. And of course, first you have to click on, uh, which I can't do here, um, click on public. Once that's done, just click save again. To share your link, just go to the trial. If you've done it correctly, this here, should be two times a uh, green and then you will be able to go to share and here you will get a link just copy this link and give to, uh, that link to other people and then they can see the same data as you can see right here